Right, we are live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Nice to see you. To see you. Nice. Hopefully the sound's all good. And that. What I'll do firstly is I'll crack on and tell who we got in the chat. So at the moment, we've got Bumcrap Picker, the legend who is. We've got Karen Fisher, Chrissy. We've got Chris B. Hi, Rabbi Lol. We've got Chris, yeah, so Chrissy. We've got Tap Peddler. Hail. Brilliant. And apparently, um, cold but sunny here near Newcastle. Blimey, fair enough. Hey, Sip K boy, and Andy Robinson, the legend that it is. Cheers for popping in. Um, it's so windy here, says Chrissy. I keep expecting to hear the bin make your way across the garden. <laughs> Blimey, it's actually quite um. What's the word? Warm here in Epsom, but still. And Tom from Forge Your Own Park has joined us. Hi there. As you see, the topic is how the YouTube reseller community has grown and helped us as resellers. So what I'll do, I'll pop this into two parts. So the first part is how the YouTube reseller community has grown. So any um comments you want to put in the chat and please do about this we have stephen bennett joined in all right stephen bennett cheers popping in uh what else have we got what yeah i said leave it on the stairs i'm not oh yeah it's mine yeah that's mine yeah a little bit later. Um, who else have we got? Uh, shit. There's another one on the stairs. Okay. Tom from Paul Jones Park says, huge sort out day. I've let slip past few weeks. Oh, fair enough, mate. You left the reindeer outside the lull. And half cot resellers joined and great topic. Um, lull. Whatever that means, Karin, lol. So, how the YouTube reseller community has grown. So, what I want to put to you guys is, what was your first YouTuber you ever watched and when was that? So, for me, the first YouTuber I ever watched was Nick Hills back in August 2016. When I was researching some topics on YouTube about reselling, and Nick Hills came up. Um, and what I did is I clicked on his and reviewed a few of his videos, commented a couple of times, or was able to join some of his live streams that he did, for example. And that was back in August 16. And then from then it's grown and grown and grown. Like Nick Kills, Zaheer Malik and Bex. Um, what else have I done? Uh, ben Fitzpatrick, Ad Robinson about January 17. And then it's grown and grown and grown. Because basically when I was on uh, firstly watching YouTube, there was only about 10 resellers. And you got a bit of a community. And it was fair enough. You got your people chatting and stuff and the other. And, um, and then it's slowly grown and grown and grown all up to now. Now we've got the tap chat and Nick chat's busy and stuff like that. What I'll do now is I'll pop in. Yeah, I've had my hair cut. Yep. Yeah, it, it was got too long. I've got me into Shikari hat on as well. Um, let me have a look. Uh, Yep. Yeah. Um, and Tap Peddler says, I think it was Nick Hills for me too. Fair enough. Same with Karin, April 17. Yep. Yeah, oh, definitely, Stephen. He says, Retail Community has helped me a lot learning a new business. And Richard Payne says, Hi, all. Can't chat. Listening as driving home from Pitnab Hall. Ask bad, mate. Fair enough. And Chrissy said, When I found reseller videos on here two years ago, 
I only found the American resellers, then came across Nick's channel. But yeah, Nick's quite far up in the YouTube ranks. Hi, Alaya, for joining. Cheers, joining. Yeah, so it was like the Z, Bex, Nick and Andrea, Ben Fitzpatrick, Ad Robinson, for example. Um, and then I went on to some other peer ones. And it was still about, what, May 2017? when there was only about mm, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 maybe YouTubers that um, that were doing YouTube at the time. And then after that, it got slammed more and more and more. And now there's like hundreds of people doing YouTube and that, for example, there. Um, Nick Hill, yep, to Stephen Bennett. Nick Hill turned 16, can't remember what month. And then Ben, yep, of course Ben, yep. With fat car boot pickups, I. Um, who else? Da, 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 da. Harcourt recesses. Tom Hicksy, Ben were great. Oh, I never, I never actually um. Hicksy as well. Yeah, and also I came a bit late to Tom, the English picker as well. A little bit late to his ones, but I did like his D O H. Obviously of the week, and that. Never actually saw Hicksy to be honest. Yeah, as I say, Chrissy, that's my next part of the topic. Um, so I've got some notes I've made here. Basically, more people taking a plunge and taking up doing reselling slash YouTube. So there's a big increase from around, what, May, June, July last year up to now. And that's what Chrissy said last few months. There's been loads. Oh, sure has. I've subscribed to a few, but I can't subscribe to all because I can't watch all. I've got other things to do, to, to be honest. And Karin says, not sure if there's room for me. I don't think I'm interested enough. Of course you're interested, Karin. Might as well do it. Do the videos, get them put up. Might as well. Yeah, because yeah, when I first started, I, wasn't, I don't think I was that interesting, but people still like it. And, and I make quite a few videos. All right, Nick, cheers for popping in, dude. Um, and also, I will just talk about you, Nick, if you just heard that about. Um, this is two to part, two parts to this um, topic. First part is how the YouTube reseller community has grown and how it's helped us as resellers. So this is the first. All right, Hawk Ridge, cheers for popping in, dude. So this is how the YouTube reseller community has grown so far. So... As we were saying, most of us started watching Unic. I started watching it in August 16, when there was only about 13, 14, 15 YouTubers. And then it's grown and grown and grown, where there's now hundreds of YouTubers. And I can't sort of like get into and watch. I've got quite a few new ones, but they're, they're sort of too many. Um, basically, because there's been a few posts in the tap chat recently about people so saying, um, listing different um, YouTube um, YouTube channels, for example, in a tap chat, you only see that for a certain amount of time and it goes down, down, down. What do we need in a tap chat, um, Nick, is a, a permanent page on um, what YouTube resellers are out there. Fair enough, you can add to them, but we need a permanent page because people want, like, we'll click on a tap chat and go, oh, click on a discussion or whatever else, and then this, da, 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 this, that, and the other. It's quite hard to come and see, especially if you're for YouTube, as loads, for example. Um, yeah, as I say, many posts about it. So it's always been in a short period there, for example. Um, only last 24 hours, and it goes down, 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 and then you forget about it. But if, if you've got a permanent post, then we, we, we can see what channels are out there for example and then possibly subscribe to some more i'll just go out the chat and see chris b says i'm not a fan of making videos really prefer to watch listen and join in no that's fair enough dude i understand that dude and you still do a good job though i used to say if i don't get your question put question and then your answer and what you're going to say because i might miss it for example um and Nick says, it blows my mind how big it has become. When I started, there was literally me, Tom, making UK various reselling videos. Yeah, I kind of remember that because I was 
into you first, Nick. Then I graduated to Ben Fitzpatrick, and then Tom a bit later, and then Z in about January, February time. All right, Steve, you're still working. How's Yang over? Even though it was cut days ago. Huh. Yeah, of course, Kyla as well. Yep, Caroline as well. Yep. So from Nick, I went to one YouTuber to like 50 odd, for example, over a period of like a year and five months, year and five months or so. And Chrissy said she only ever watched Nick, Zaheer, and Caroline, Miss them religiously. Now I have a few more I check out regularly. Yeah, there's some I check out quite regularly, like Nick. To hear Caroline, Mrs. M, Ben Fitzpatrick, Ad Robinson, C Green, um, Tom English Picker, Stephen Steph when I can, and a couple of others there. So there, there's, and then you have YouTube, I pop in and out when I can, for example. Um, what else have we got here? I, uh, Chris B said, I think Nick's channels are great for the social side. Oh, of course, definitely. You get so much information as well. And Half Cut Reseller says, Kyla is the funniest YouTuber reseller. She's a legend. <coughs> <coughs> oh, dear, yeah. You made me cough now, yep. She's a legend, definitely. Same with um, Caroline Sem. She is a legend, too. Oh, still, you're rough. Well, I bet. I saw the pictures on your Facebook channel, uh, Facebook um, there. You looked all right, especially when you were dressed up as that geezer from um, a bearded geezer from the Hangover films. No, getting out. Ah, oh, yep. That's why I don't drink very often these days. Well, I mean, uh, I read some more questions, and then I'll go into the other side of the topic as well. Uh, Elias said she only watched Nick and Z really and some americans some other uk resellers cover clothes which i don't do mm, fair enough that's like yeah some of them do clothes but i try and pop in even though some of them do clothes i do try and pop in them occasionally when i can just to support them um nick and I, uh, nick says currently i'm hooked on steve and steph love what they do and have become good friends with them such low people and that's the other side of it, becoming good friends with people who do YouTube channels as well. Tap Bella says, uh, got out head, oh, got a head out, okay, to pick up the dog from groomers, might be back before you in the stream, have you? Okay, mate, cheers for popping in. I might see you later, if, if not, I'll see you some other time in, in another chat. Chrissy said, I only checked out Steven's death last night after seeing many people mention him. Yeah, Chrissy, yeah, uh, uh, great. They have a limited data on their phone, so they stream for hours and hours and hours. And sometimes it's hard to be in stream for 10 minutes, 20, 30, 40 hour for so. They do quite a lot most days, for example. Um, a liar says, I messaged them with a request and they got back to me at ASAP. Humble people. Oh, of course. Yep, definitely. And Hawk Ridge has said, I watch as many UK resets as possible. Most American resellers are just drama and clickbait. The UK resellers put different positive spin on things. All right, okay, fair enough, dude. We all got different opinions. I appreciate that. And Tap Pedler says, I'm looking forward to the reseller meetup. Hopefully, when that will happen. Yeah, I've been thinking about that for a long time. When I go, that'll be good if we can meet up at some central area. We can get to them. <laughs> what did Chrissy say? Oh, I love the fancy dress. And Steve Green says, Cheers, Chrissy. You've got a lot of attention. I lost the baby a few times. Probably after a couple of different types of drinks. Next part of, of the um, top. If you've got any questions, do leave them in the chat and I'll answer them as much as I can. And um, going on. and how has the reseller community helped us as resellers? So how has the reseller community helped you as resellers? So why I put is gain tips from people doing reselling and YouTube channels, a lot of tips. Learn new things. For example, I've learned new niches that I didn't know about. Um, a big one is gaining new friends. For example, I gained a lot of new friends that I've found through Facebook and stuff like that and I chat to regularly. 
which is always a good thing. And I, I've met Peter Cummings three or four times in my local car boot. So yeah, definitely, Stephen Bennett. It would be good if he could do us reselling me up soon. But it probably won't be till after May when they do their um, moonwalk thing. And I've learned about other selling platforms, for example, eBay, Etsy, Amazon, Spock. Even though I don't do Amazon, Spock or Etsy, I've learned about them. And if I ever wanted to go into, I'm sure I could go into and do, and do it. Mm. Of course, Karin, it's nice to feel you're not alone, definitely. Um, at, 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 uh, Chris B says, at Tap Peddler, I think there needs to be a couple of meets. One, oh, there we go, I got it. One north and one south. Yeah, because quite a lot of people in Scotland, Wales, I wouldn't have thought um, Caroline from the Celtic traders, or Celtic traders, I should say, uh, could come into the meetup. Because she's that far away, and also people in Northern Ireland as well. I uh, don't McMillan. Cheers, probably indeed. And also, you're from Northern Ireland, so very really difficult for David to get over here to do a reseller meetup as well. Um, Nick says the meet meetup David McGregor was working on has been postponed as he has too much going on. But we hope to organise something for the summer. This social social gathering. Yeah, definitely. Because, Nick, I remember on your YouTube, you met up with some of the other re resellers like two years ago or something, Dan Hitchin. And that was a good meetup because you and Caroline, Mrs. M, did a vlog from that day. And that was a good one. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when the summer's here, not light nights and good weather, we can go out for a few drinks or do a bit of charity shopping around an area. Oh, it'd be, be brilliant. Um, so, for people who have just joined, how has the YouTube reseller community, um, how the YouTube, I should say, reseller community has grown and helped us as resellers? So the first one is how the YouTube reseller community has grown since, like, back in 2016, 15, for example, and how has um, YouTube reseller community helped us as resellers, for example. Yeah, that'd be, uh, what did Nick say there? Mid, mid UK, did he? Uh, oh, where, yeah, whereabouts, yeah. Um, Nick says, yes, that was a bunch of the YouTubers. An epic couple of days thinking of doing something in London. No set plans yet. Oh, that'd be, be brilliant, Nick, if you could do London. Because I know some people are far away. It's difficult. But London is a central point for um, the trains for example because i can get to london easily via train i live 40 minutes from london so yeah i'll be up for that anytime whether it be a weekday or a weekend probably best weekends i think and that yeah go out for a day or something or stay over and yeah that'd be cool so if you've got any points about this the topic do let me know in any other chat you want to talk about um, as as I say, I think it'd be good if we could get some um, a section in a chat. As, as I said earlier about the re um, YouTubers that do re reseller YouTubers that do that do YouTubers that do um, have YouTube channels. It'd be good to have a permanent place where you can go to in a chat, not just one, two, three, four posts where it's do 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 goes down 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 because I see so many people some did that the other day of youtube resellers and adding me on it and nick and some of the others and stuff and that's very hard to find that back again so if you have one place for the youtube resellers then i'd be good and touch that i'll just read out the comments um nick says it's hard to find somewhere accessible for everyone but really enjoyed seeing so here and back in london so many cool places to hang out and have a beer oh cool yes yeah, loads of places you can go to the park, Hyde Park, or uh, go up London Eye, or yeah, loads of places to have a nice little beer. In a nice weather, which hopefully it'll be soon. Uh, Chrissy says, I just love to see how everyone runs their businesses. And good to feel it's normal to be surrounded by tap when non-resellers just assume you're hoarders. 
<laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, as I say, Chris, I do like to see other people's channels, what they're reselling and how they're dealing with the tat issues, for example, and their piles of shame, for example. Chris B says, just imagine around 50 resellers descending on charity shops in one go at the meetup. I'd oh, be, be brilliant, fighting over DVDs, fighting over VHS recorders. It, it'll, it'll be like five rounds with bleeding Mike Tyson. Ah. And that, and um, Frank Bruno, call me Larry. Frank bleeding Bruno, yeah, five rounds. And <laughs> that'd be brilliant, yeah, definitely crispy. That'd be brilliant. Oh, Nick will make his permanent post on the, his blog site soon and list all the reseller YouTubers just in case of finding time. Yeah, no, I, I understand that, Nick. Totally agree, totally understand. Time is precious these days. Yeah, it's difficult. Yeah, if you could do that, whenever you've got a, a moment, I appreciate that. And anyway, Nick, with time, how is your pub game going? Because that went for a back burner, your, your pub game. But how that's going, anyway. And just to, to say, guys, if you've got any other selling platforms that you sell on, other than eBay, Etsy, Amazon, Spock, then do let me know. So it'd be good to know what you sell on. And also, say, Facebook as well. And some of the other social media platforms there. Um, yeah, I so say I've learned so many new things. And I've gained, also with learning new things, I've also gained a lot of um, items off resellers. For example, Nick, I've got stuff on Nick. I've got stuff off Ben Fitzpatrick, Ad Robinson, Carla Jenkins, Zian Becks, quite a few people there. Um, and Tom from Forger and Pass says, right now, sorting out this space, I feel like a hoarder. Fair enough. And Stephen Bennett says, question, where do you um, where do you keep your stock? Do you have a spare room? No, I haven't got a spare room. I've got a bit of stock on the side here, and we've got some. I've got some stock in our conservatory there, in different boxes, for example. So I put stock in boxes so it doesn't get too dusty, for example. There. All right, Stu, just put me in, dude. Appreciate that. Oh, and Nick said the pub project has taken a back seat was talking to Ange about it today on our five mile walk need to give it more time oh that's the thing like for example even on this topic second part of this topic how has um, the YouTube reseller community has helped us as resellers how it has basically um mm. Basically, finding time to do things because obviously, as we know, um, how has basically YouTube helped us as resellers? When you learn new ideas and implement them, then maybe you do like like what Ads does, isn't it? Three or four, or five, six things, and then something's got to go to the back seat, something like that, for example, and, and you learning new stuff. Um, Stephen Bennett has said, "Oh, nice forge." You're I live in a one bedroom flat, so I've got a of place. Oh, that's long. Hawk Ridge, the community has helped by being real and motivated, motivating us to change our lives by taking the same steps, i.e., Celtic tra Celtic traders, although sh always showing things I wouldn't consider could make a nice return. Yeah, that's the thing though. Hawk Ridge, you can always do a um uh, check what other people are selling and think, oh, I could do that. Like what I'm hope, like hoping to have been doing with my how much is da -da 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 items sold for on eBay series. Like I've done uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Simpsons. Uh, I've done quite a few there. And hoping they have helped you in to work out what sells really well in that sort of area and stuff. And this Friday, I'll be doing, because I saw again on the um, chat chat post, right, I saw someone put about a, a Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers from the first series, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Dagger. It, it's um, Tommy Oliver, the Green Rangers Dagger. And he, 
he goes to um uh plays his dagger and then his um dragon sword comes up his green dragon sword and uh, and that uh, someone put posts on about the dagger and got quite a lot of money for it i thought oh that would be good to do that on my how much is power rangers items sold for on ebay in, in that excuse me in that sort of series so i'll do it on friday and people i've, I've said that in the on the post there people have liked it so i'll get it done on friday what i'll do now i'll pop into the chat uh, by the way hawkridge is this your first time in my chat because i keep forgetting and where are you from and nick says by the way peter thank you so much for supporting our charity book with your donation we'll give you a shout out on sunday that's perfectly fine nick i support everyone there yeah, that's the second time the whole lot i've donated that's yeah it's perfectly fine yeah i, I do support it's a, for such a good charity as well definitely and chrissy says i have a, just, um, a spare room and a landing cupboard for stock we bought our first house last year before that we were in a flat surrounded by tap oh. and also guys oh treasure pirate says hey peter just popped in before i do the school run May I catch it later on. Oh, that's fair enough. Truth popping in as well. Um, and am I on Instagram? Says Chrissy. Uh, no, I'm not. That's one of the things, like Twitter and that, taking a back has had to take a back burner. Even though I wasn't on Twitter and Instagram before, I don't really want to go on it. Not that I don't like it. Nothing like that. It's just time, time wise. I got Facebook, but I don't really do much on Facebook either. But it's just time basically oh nick's got to go cheers nick popping in all oh, right hawkridge first time you've spoken up from midwest of the us ah oh, cheers popping in dude yeah i say seeing it mate see, see you later on and that and what's the time there hawkridge as well uh stream manu says i find online reseller community very motivational extremely informative but more than anything a lot of fun i look forward to any meetup in the future Oh, of course, that would be brilliant. Yeah, because we only get to meet certain people and we see people on stream, but not what they're fully like, for example, there. Um, any other chat there? Oh, Chris, um, she invents us Chris B. I'm thinking of getting a locker, but I don't earn the right money yet. Okay, mate. Hopefully, you will soon. Um, and, and Tom from Forge Around Pass said, work with the space you've got. Stim Bennett, and if you have less space, buy better stuff and treasure that space. My house was a proper crap house whilst I built up last year. Fair enough. Oh, it's 9 30 a.m. Quite, quite early. Fair enough. Um, da -da -da -da. Right. Any other questions? All right, Claire King. Cheers, popping in. If you've got any questions, do let leave them down in the chat below. We've got 23 viewers. Just take my jacket off because it's quite warm here now. The heating's on again. Oh. Fair enough. Um, I did think of something. One of the um, another branch of his question, but I've forgotten already. Blimey, my um, brain's like a sieve. Yeah, I say cheers for you guys popping in my impromptu chat last night. It was brilliant that chat. So many um, uh, older style TV programs we talked about, for example. That was brilliant last night. Oh, matron. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. Even Stephen Steph looked up that carry on. That was brilliant. Uh, at the end of the day, if you have the will and dedication, the thick skin you when you get a return will grow as a reseller. Yeah, of course, half cock, definitely. And what was the last item you sold? Oh, blimey. I'll have to look that up, actually. I'm sure I should know it off, off by heart. I'll, I'll have a look at that. And, and that. Uh, who said that? Tom, blimey, that's, that's a bit, um, yeah. Uh, Steve Bennett's a question. How many hours do you put into reselling each week? Well, I try to put as many as I can. Um, obviously, I'm not doing that, that much, so I'll probably try to put what? Uh, oh, it was a hardback book from a cowboy song by. Uh, Phil Lynott, the bloke from um, Finn Lizzie. It was a hard bad book. I sold that. Last thing I sold. Um, let me just come off there. Um, 
Stephen Bennett's question there. How many hours do I put in? I, I say as many as I can. I try to put at least 10 hours a week in. So obviously I've got to look for work and bits and pieces and have family life. But and then again, I try to put 10 to 20 hours a week, for example. As much as I can, really. But sometimes it doesn't work out like that. But And Karen Fisher, sorry I missed it. I was done in. No, that's fair enough. No, I, I understand that, um, Karen. It was brilliant, though. Yeah, it was a surprise live clerking. It was excellent. Oh, yeah. I, I, I like them ones. I don't do them very often, but I thought I'd better do it. See what people have been doing. Um, Hark Corey says, I've seen lots just give up. Keep listing and sourcing and sales will come. Yep. Oh, yes, just do last night. I was told. All, all the old um, programs they're watching, stuff like that, and everyone's popped in and just have a cracking laugh. That's, that's what you need, though. The same with Chris B. Yeah, last night was live, live was brilliant. Basically, just that's how, that's what um, the reseller community has also um, has grown. So we can basically say, right, oh, Peter's gone live. I'll pop in there, see what's what. Just basically friends, friendly atmosphere there. For for example, so if you've got any questions, then please do let me know down in the comments below what you sell, what sort of platforms you sell on. And what have you learned about reselling? Um, have you gained friends? Learned new things, new niches? Um, and what was your first YouTuber you watched and when, for example? Because as I said earlier, my first YouTuber was Nick in uh, August 16. And then I went on to Ben Fitzpatrick, then Tom. Then I went on to, to Z in about January or about January, February time, 17, and then built up and up and up there. And back in the day, 16, or there was only about 13, 14 YouTubers, but then it's grown and grown and grown, and now there's hundreds. So hopefully Nick will put a post on his, um, a permanent post on his um, website blog thing about, um, the YouTubers put permanent what YouTubers there are so I can check it out because people put it on a tap chat on a post and, and you see it for about five minutes literally then it just goes down down because other people are doing posts for example um oh people just saying about interesting the chat there with um following car and Fisher on Instagram Kazi makes some resales on Instagram um there so so any other questions there? Any other, any other chat you want to bring up? That would be good. I'm, I'm just having a look at my notes here. So I did think of something, and then it went out in the window. Mm. Yeah, so let me have a look here. So, guys. Um, so, and also, another branch of this, how the YouTube reseller community has grown, right? First part. Um, and also, I did say about the first YouTubers you watched and when. So then that branch off there, what YouTubers are you watching? Um, have, are you watching and sub to at this moment in time? So, for example, what YouTubers are you constantly watching, and what YouTubers do you watch when you can? For example, and Stu said would like to start doing some YouTube later this year don't know what about though wouldn't want to step on anyone's toes oh don't worry about that Stu. we'll do it especially with lives when you get in lives especially the american lives three or four go live at once oh the million mil, mini millionaire cora cora and uh, helen oh my i forgot about them they're cracking mate uh claire ebay today has been non-existent but I need to put some more hours into it, to be honest. I'll, I'll try and do that later on this afternoon, if no one goes live. <clears throat> yeah, try and cut me eBay out, um, YouTube hours down. Yeah, million, mi millionaire, blimey, Lego, that's right. Crack on Lego, yeah. And I also like their vlogs as well, and how much they do, because they don't really get into much of a YouTube. They're a YouTube community, but they don't really get into the YouTube videos that often. To be honest, because they're busy doing going places around the world, 
doing YouTube, uh, eBay themselves, YouTube. Um, they've got plans, all sorts of plans. For example, at the moment, um, I think it's Cora's dad is doing build up a new house so they can sell it, help him do that. So all, all sorts they do. Yeah, and what else do you say? I started watching Nick and Z, The Million Millionaire, trying to learn about Lego minifigures and found a great community in the process. Generally working with men's clothes and the odd collectible. Ah, oh, fair enough. So Hawk Ridge, because you're from America, what Americans do you watch as well as British ones? And Claire King said, um, what's that? Reckillers, Mrs. M, uh, Z and Bex, Carla and Nick, and then, yep, of course, yeah, definitely good ones to watch. Yeah, and Steve Green basically egging on Stu today. Go on, Stu, do it. Just chat to the camera. Hasn't got to make much sense. Look at mine. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, but yours is still good, though, uh, Steve. Definitely still good. We've still got 20 viewers watching. Lovely. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty good. And seeing Bennett's no sales so far today. I'm sure it'll come. Definitely come soon, for example. Uh, Sipco says, last few days have been slow. Oh, fair enough. Not good, though, but still, be will be all right. Um, right, what else have we got here? Let's have a look at the chat. Uh, regardless, I'll go to join them. So, ah, cool, cool. Oh, Claire King's just sub Steve, fair enough. Yeah, it'd be good. Oh, sub, sub to see Green, no, oh, lovely. Yeah, yeah, that's good, Claire. Yeah, watch um, some Steve Green's videos back it's basically brilliant uh yeah basically tom says paul jump off chin up with the slow sales guys uh keep throwing those items up yeah and then you'll get some sales uh oh the hangover gone yet blimey it must have been going to throw out leg you know what i mean uh, steve meaning you must have been going quite hard on the booze uh chrissy says she loves watching rally routes Love their personality. Other than that, mostly what UK sellers reselling UK with Luke. UK reseller Nick to here, Carla, Miss M, Fake Rachel, and loads more. Yeah, I've got oh, except Rally Roots. I've got all of them. The only ones I watch is Stephen Steph in America. I watch Wayne Fight Hustler. Oh, he's brilliant on his um what items he gets. And uh Oh, what's she called? Uh, Margaret, Texas Girl Treasures, even though at the moment she's in the process of moving. Yeah, I do like Luke. Yeah, he's pretty good when he gets the time to do it. I love to hear him back. Carla, Miss M. Play Rachel was pretty good as well. Oh, everyone, yeah, sub to Steve Green, yeah. That's another point I've just thought about. Basically, YouTube reseller community has grown, but everyone else um, is, is in the big community of subbing to everyone's channels and that and making our channels a lot better obviously which is very good there and Stu says sales have been average this month compared to february i'm selling about one percent of my stock every day in march if you've got a really big stock then that's not a lot and andy robinson says be careful watching steve green you'll end up in a house full of tea sets and lap trays <laughs> yeah don't forget andy robinson don't forget the ben 10 figures and the rest of the figures uh no clear i don't do instagram I would do, but it's more time related. For example, I haven't got the time to do Instagram. A bit like what um, Caroline Miss M says, she hasn't got time to do Instagram that much. So it's taking a bit of back burner. Oh, we slept totally three hours, Steve, the weekend, sleeping with my mate who suffers with night terrors. That is harsh, man. That is harsh. A sip case says, I prefer the more Gentile YouTubers rather than the awesome Monday. Money, oh, I've got to buy, 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 I've got to hustle it, hustle that baby stuff. Oh, I know what you mean, yep. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Oh, blimey, that's, that's not a good car in Night, Trem um, night Terrors, there. So, if you've got any other um, things about the topic there, do leave it in the comments. 20 minutes to go there. Since having so many channels, though, I do end up missing some of the channels I used to watch more often. Yeah, that's the thing, Chrissy. That's another point to this one. Yes, 
we are a big one big community and we sub to each other we've got like 50 60 70 youtubers we, we watch not just resellers other ones as well and that and it's very hard to keep up with all you youtubers i've got 20 odd videos to watch and some of them are an hour long and it's like when am i going to get time to watch them even though i will watch them at some point a month three weeks month down the line it's quite hard but we've got to limit ourselves to a certain amount of hours a day on youtube and then and then for, for example maybe on sunday afternoon watch a few youtube videos for example it's it's, it's thing though when you're watching a youtube video and someone goes live you're like compelled like bcp does compelled to jump in for example um oh you had your first smash what sort of um did you smash it though steve or did did the um courier company you smash it uh Tap Peller says, sales picked up for me last few days, 200 on each day, but suddenly nothing all to today. eBay is so random. Yep. It doesn't crack the whip very often, but when it does. Uh, Stu says, now that now that would have made interesting vid, Steve. Oh, we'll Steve, smart, yeah. And Claire King says, I like Instagram, but I don't use it as a seeking tool, just love taking pictures. Fair enough. All right, Rod, how are you? Chief Puffy and Dude? Um, Karen says you can't watch everything or you'd have no time for anything else. That is so true, very true. That's why I've limited so many times watching YouTube videos. Yes, definitely. I pretty much understand that. Yes, especially with the um, reselling community and how it's helped us as resellers by gaining stock, learning new niches, going to the car boots, learning what to do at auctions, what Nick's doing learning new ways of doing things um learning new selling platforms ebay etsy amazon spock facebook gaining friends through youtube um i say learning new things helping people out joining other youtube videos lives for example all sorts chris b oh i, I knew this question was going to come i don't know how bcp gets any work done he's lived on youtube yeah, I don't know either. Oh, smashed on a courier. What courier did he use? That's, the, that's not good. Yeah, of course, Rod. Cheers, popping in. I appreciate everyone who pops in my live chats as well. Um, just to say, I'm hoping either end of this week or weekend to get another gaming haul done. Some games and a console that I've picked up for my collection. I'll do that on Friday. Friday or Saturday or Sunday. And definitely on Friday, I'm doing my how much is Power Rangers toys sold for on eBay. Because I saw a p post on the chat chat about um, someone sold the um, Tommy Oliver Green Ranger dagger. That um, he, he goes, duh, 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 and then, then the um, green tiger sword thing or where he is comes up and he jumps in and all that. So I'll do that on Friday. Um, oh, some comments here. No source of me for a couple of weeks, says um, Tom from Forge and Path, except Cheeky Auction and Honey Hole Charity Shops. All got to do something. Peter says, I end up forgetting who I watch most of the time. The iPad is usually on, the, on in the background, watching some of the channels. I do always jump in live when I can though. Yeah, same here, to be honest. I like jumping in live when I can. It's hard to have people who work part time or full time to get in lives and chats and that. Because when they get home, they're tired. So, what Christy was saying there, um, most of the time uh, on the iPad in the background, right? I end up forgetting uh, who I've watched most of the time, the iPad, usually on the background, watching some channels, jumping alive. Yeah. Um, it's basically on this YouTube and reselling journey. From when you started your YouTube channel compared to now, and how your recent journey has gone and, and your life. Because with the YouTube videos, we learn so much about different people's lives. So, Nick's life, uh, all sorts of people's different types of their life, what they're going through, good or bad, if they're going away, or what they sold, not sold, bad couriers, all that. Yeah, I like that. But yeah, I say, Chrissy, I do forget who I've watched. And I'm thinking, who was that I watched about this and this and this? And then, then was it so-and-so I watched about this other little thing? And, yeah, it's quite 
Um, hard though. Uh, cool Steve Beast, you need to watch less. I was saying that, I was watching Tom's channel, um, gaming channel, till three in the morning last night. <clears throat> Chris, um, BCP, you popped out, he popped in two more streams, got a bit stressed, and, I've, uh, and yeah, I watched it till three in the morning, and I shouldn't have done, but... Okay, Karin, see you later, Karin, cheers popping in, speak to you later. Oh, yeah, BCP's in Newcastle, that's right. It's too mangy, BCP, how come Steam Steph always say your name with a crappy, cottony accent? Oh, that's because... I'm not nothing against the Americans. They think we talk with one ran one accent, either Cockney or posh. That, that's the thing. Apparently, your source says that's how all Brits speak the speech to. To Americans, they do. Showing English, I know. Yeah, have you seen some of the films, like the American films with English people in them? It's really random. They're like, oh, but yeah, rock and roll, huh? Good God. Stephen Bennett says. What's your best pickup of the week? I got Nintendo, GameCube, Mario, Smash, football console in a box. Wow. Nice. That is brilliant. How much do you pay for that, Stephen Bennett? That's a brilliant question, yeah. Um, nothing for me at the moment. I haven't really picked up anything this week, to be honest. I'm trying to list more than I pick up. I've got so much to list, for example. I'm just trying to tweak my listing at the moment. Now, that's also another thing as well. How YouTube reseller community has grown and helped us as resellers, basically by by saying basically people doing videos on YouTube to say you can tweak your vid, tweak your item in such and such way in this and the other compared to what's coming up in the year. So, for example, if you've got any um, football related memorabilia, right, England style or around the world, right, look up who is in the World Cup this year because that's in June, the World Cup in June, right. And make sure you get your stuff listed about a month before because people will buy it from the countries that are um, in the World Cup. Then, obviously, you've got a lot of concerts about um, different events. Obviously, this year we've got the uh, Royal Wedding again. So, Steve, grab some Royal Wedding um, memorabilia and stuff. Try and grab that. And... Yeah, whatever other comes up, then just try and grab it, and then obviously put away for Christmas. This is only other. Um, Chrissy says it's because in the film, all English people are cottony or posh. Yeah, yeah that's, I don't know why, but oh well. Twenty-five pound. Oh, that's wicked. I know you can get triple that at least. Definitely, that's a nice uh, um, pick up there, Stephen Bennett. And Hawk Rift, lock stop into smoking barrels, man. Also resellers of sorts. Yep. Yeah. Also, as as well, with my chat last night about the different types, of, I went, we went into different types of programs, right? I thought about afterwards we're reselling old reselling programs. Like for example, we've got Steptoe and Son, which is a British rag and bone, so a horse and a cart going round in the like nineteenth um, century. Um, picking up items and trying to resell and flog them on, for example. The business. Oh, Danny Dyer and Tammy Hassan. Yeah, the business. That's a cracking film. Snatch as well. Yep. Russia will win the World Cup only by Sass and everyone else, so not by football. Oh, yeah. yeah, definitely. Um, well, but, um, and then obviously you've got from the other side of things. From Steptoe and Son, then you've got um, Barbara and Tom Good in the Good Life. So they're going um, like what some people are doing, going full time, re reselling. They're doing that by going um, basically full time in their sort of area. What they're doing. So for example, that they're like. Um, doing their garden up and stuff like that. So if you don't know what the Good Life is, it's a, a channel, a comedy um, program back in the seventies. Basically, Tom and Barbara Good. Uh, Tom has a job. He's a he's a designer, and he wants to quit the rat race. And basically, he says to his wife, 
Barbara, basically, that they can go self-sufficient and bake their own produce and do sew their own clothes, do this and do that. So that's what basically like full-time resellers are doing in that sort of way. Then, for example, what else have you got? You've got, um, oh, that's a diff difficult one. Yeah, it's different um, TV programs like that. All right, Hitman, she's popping in, dude. And Hitman, um, what was the first YouTuber you watched and when? Yeah, definitely. That's what you got to do. Think about it. What's coming on in the year? Um, Roll mem memorabilia, saving up. Yeah, definitely. Put it on a month before because if you do GSP or American, they'll, they'll buy it, definitely. Oh, I'm not going to read that out a liar, but yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah, business is a cracking movie, David McMillan. Snatch. Um, yeah, can't think of anymore, but yeah. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Got 10 minutes, but lovely. I'm trying to think of any other recently related comedy programme from the UK. So, for example, you've got like... Um, oh, what was it called? Um, Open All Hours. All right, right. Um, Paul, am I done that right? Were, were you Paul? Yeah, no, yeah. I keep forgetting. Was Ben? Oh, brilliant. Yeah, Ben's a legend. All right, Tom, what's your path? That's cool. A fun. Oh, sadly, yeah. It's it's, it's a shame I, that Ken Dodd died, but yeah, he suffered worth loads, hundreds and thousands. Um, yeah, so you got, um, what, 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 what I'm saying now, yeah, you have a re reselling program. So you've got, for example, open all hours, yep, yeah, they're doing a job sort of thing, and then you've got uh, the one in the shop, um, with Frank Thornton and some of the others. Oh, what's, what, what's it called? Really. Let me look at that. Jim Jim Bowen. Really? Stu? Sorry, I'm just looking up. Yeah, Stephen Hawking as well. Um Oh, get out. Shake your leg. Jim Bowen where, where, where's there doing the bully? Yeah, you BFA to bust their own. Oh no. Either, oh, that's a shame. We we we've lost like Ken Dodd, um, Stephen Hawking, and Jim Bowen. Oh, that'd be good to pick up your no offense, but pick up your bully stuff. Yeah, yeah, cr cracking show. Bullseye was like people people like say say for example they lived in a um a bungalow or a, a, a flat and then they won a um a speedboat. Why are you only going to put the speedboat? You know what I mean? Riding in a speedboat down a bleeding council state. Yeah, do 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 Yeah, and all the cracking um darts players that were on Bullseye. Oh shame. Why? Oh I know what you mean, but all right, fine. Fine, fine. Um, let me just put it there. Yeah, so any comments about this? I'll go another five more minutes. Oh, that's a shame. No, no, cool, hot crush. No, you go ahead and sub to as many reselling related channels as you like, mate. Perfectly fine. I don't mind. Mm. Ah, so, so, yeah, so that, that. See, this is why I like YouTube community because of the laughs and brands that day. Yeah, de definitely. Yeah, if you're having a bad day, then you can watch a YouTube video or live, and you can be basically um, happy again. Yes, yeah, what, what it does. We we just meet up might happen later on in the year, then that'll be even better. So, if you've got anything else you have gained from the YouTube community, reseller community, that has helped you as resellers, super smashing. Yep. Yeah. Oh, definitely. 
Um, yeah, I've learned lots of other niches. A bit about clothes, um, a little bit about RC. Um, obviously, I've learned about vintage toys. Obviously, Steve Green, I've learned about um, Ben 10 figures, wrestling figures, um, commemorative teacups, plates, all that. I'm um, Michelle Lafion, Lafon. Sorry if I'm not pronounced that right. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I know, I know. I know that clear anyway, but that's the way it goes. That's life. Yeah, but a lot of things mean different things in different countries, different areas of the UK as well. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Ah, wicked, wicked. Um, oh, definitely wicked. Yeah, and that's, I think, that's why like the YouTube community has helped us grow as resellers, but basically, um, that's why we are always in certain people's chats more than others, for, for example, and we learn, that's what, will you, Paul, yeah, will you, he says he watched some videos and picked up little tips on packing, like use tape rolls to protect sticky bits on items, yeah, that's a good, like that on tips wise, a lot of people do do that. That's why I liked um uh oh what what's the name um uh uh what's the name um so I'm just checking something now. Quick version second. Yeah, Sue's piles of shame. And that's she she does good good on that. Um on the tape rolls and different boxes, for example. We learn a lot of things on YouTube. Um sadly the average um IQ in the entire human race has just dropped by ten points when Stephen Hawking died. Yeah. It was it was legend though. I always remember Stephen Hawkins being portrayed in The Simpsons when Lisa was in the um what they call American the bandstand and he had that propeller and basically she was gonna get beaten up and he lifted her up out of it and that. That was pretty good. Hawk Ridge has just said something else I've gained is where to set my profit margins, how to resist packing things up. I won't make ends meet once fees are considered. Yeah, of course. Def definitely, uh, and also you learn what to pick up from other YouTubers, what not to pick up, when this particular item is worth money, when it's not, like for example, Mario Kart Wii and one or two Wii wheels goes for a lot of money. So Mario Kart Wii and one Wii controller goes for 20 to 25 quid. And with two Wii controllers, you can get 30, 35, 34, 35 pounds for it. It's just, just knowing what, out there basically and low obviously uh claire king says the advice has been prices from youtube advice pack like so it could withstand an elephant stampede yes yes def definitely some different um companies companies we use plays 90 minutes of football with with it okay liar appreciate you popping in see you soon yeah, will do. Of course it ain't feel from smart. No, definitely. No, definitely, de definitely. It's, it's, it's always good to have a laugh, like, especially that last night's chat. Half like that. So I'll go a couple, couple more minutes. So basically, um, what's your favourite films, reseller-related programmes and reseller-related films? I like um, programme-wise Storage Hunters, which is... Um, uh, if you haven't seen Storage Hunters, it's about the um, a U UK and American people who go to storage units. People haven't paid for a certain amount of months in their storage units. And what they do is they auction them off. So you've got like auction wars, storage hunters um, with the, the bloke, uh, oh, I forget his name now, the fastest auctioneer in the West. Uh, what else have you got? Quite a lot of films like that. Which, which which are pretty good to actually watch, sort of see what they get. 
Yep, Kerr King, I'm afraid so. I mean, he wasn't a well man. Oh, uh, really wasn't a well man, to be honest. Uh, someone just check something. Oh, oh, see you again, David McMillan. Cheers, Poppy and Dude. I appreciate that. Yeah, Sean Kelly, the fastest auctioneer in the West. That's right. Hardcore porn. Yeah, 11 p.m., 12 p.m. on Blaze. I never watched that, to be honest. I've seen, I think I've maybe seen one, possibly. Antiques Road Trip, yeah. Two. Wow, that's a very good, yeah. And Chrissy likes Girl Boss on Netflix. Nice. Oh, were, were, was that the one tap peddler that was on the um, tap chat? The new boot sale show starting next week. And some said it was in their um, local car boot. And it was from celebrities. And they were just doing it for TV. And basically, they're not allowing people to buy stuff cheaply, only like for big flat prices. Yeah, posh porn, yeah, definitely. There's always a way of learning things. TV, YouTube, books, people, basically earwigging people. You can always learn stuff by earwigging. Oh, cheers, what we're popping in. Appreciate that. Yeah, it's a good program, that is, yep. All oh, right, definitely. Yeah, it's just gone past the hour. Any more questions? I'll pop them in, in the chat. Appreciate you all popping in and that. All oh, right, definitely. It's a, it's a shame that Jim Bowen went and all, all the others. It's a shame, but oh, oh dear me, dear me. Oh, ah, yeah. uh, Tapper says, yeah, I think so. Probably going to be rubbish, but ent ent entertaining. Yeah, it's probably it's probably a load of BS, but yes, definitely BCP. You, you definitely don't laugh about that. No. Not about the dying or dead, no. Yeah, probably it's going to be rubbish, but oh well. We'll have to see who's on it. Of course they are. Will you, Paul? Yeah. Program's fixed anyway. Friend of a friend of a friend was asked to go and buy something from a seller. Being refuted, they gave her the money to do it. Ah, oh, well. Claire King, what's... I like, what's his face? Lives down south. Helps me out, guys. Help me out, guys. What bloke... Live down south. A lot of people didn't live down south. What's he do? What program? What's his niche? What's his program? Claire King. So that's not really look to go on. Down south. I live down south. In Danny Dyer territory. Ah. Uh, and put 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 put. Uh, Mike Reed, Frank Butcher. Territory. Yeah. Love. What's his face? Half got reseller. Most of the um, auction are fake anyway. The antiques buyer. Not um. Do you mean the geezer with um? Is always brown. And and the glasses. <laughs> How far down south? London, Spain, Antarctica. Oh yeah. Well, most of them I think half got reseller are fake anyway, but. It's always, um, what do you call it? It's always um, good entertainment. That's all it is. Tim Tim Winnicott. David Dickinson, that's what I'm thinking of. Ask Jeeves, yeah. Tim Winnicott. That's right, he got sacked a couple of years ago from bargain up for being a, a, a stress head. Oh, yeah, cheers, Elaine Pushman. Cheers for remembering, yeah. Yeah, I go tomorrow afternoon about three o'clock. So I'll be cat. Catching ads live tomorrow at one, and then I'll be off. Love Joy, that's another one. Go on, Stu, bro. Love Joy, he was the antiques guy. Yeah, because he was in um on the parks cabins. That was right. Dale Winton, yeah, he's always brown. Looks like he's got an holiday. A, a bit um, yeah. Ah, uh, cheers, Chrissy. Drew Pritchard. No, uh, no, it's either Dale Winton or uh. That one. Either David Dickinson or um, Bruce or um, Tim Winnicott. Don't know. What guys? What do you think about Jeremy Clarkson doing? Um, who wants to be a millionaire? Because I think it's a bit it miss. You know, with, with his tone, right? And, and, and that. 
Um, oh, I don't know. Drew Pritchard, is it? Oh, okay. I don't know. I, I don't know. I think I'd know him by face if I saw a picture of him, for example, but that's about it. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Right, guys. We, we've been on so now and five minutes. And what I'll do is, is um, I'll go and, and all that. So thanks, everyone, for popping in. I appreciate that. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'll say, cheers for popping in, guys. And oh, I'll read Chrissy's one and now go, I cannot imagine Clarkson doing it. He'll keep chopping power. Yeah, definitely. Are we putting all those um, cockney tongues and be laughing? Will we smoke us laugh? Yeah, well, blimey. Oh, well, it's always that south, north, south of Ireclare. So, no, anyway, I better go. So, I appreciate that. People joining, and I'll see you soon. Thanks, Stu. Thanks, everyone. See you later, guys. Have fun.